All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be checking out what Arc 1 would look like inside of Unreal Engine 5. That's right, this is not Arc 2. This is the original Arc remastered inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now, very quickly, I don't want to take any credit for making any of this. I didn't make any of the footage that you see here. It's actually a creator named Greg Colthard. He has a YouTube channel and he's been remastering the original arc inside of Unreal Engine 5, starting off by remaking the island map. So basically I'm just gonna react to, you know, some of the footage that we see and kind of get my two cents on the whole project. So yeah, here it is. Here's some gameplay footage. You can see him running around on the beach. He pretty much was able to take all of the assets, 3D models, dinosaur models, textures, all that stuff, and import it into Unreal Engine 5. And he even got, you know, the height maps from the original game. So he has the entire island map exactly laid out the same way as they have it in Arc 1. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to tell you quickly about my survival game course that I made for Unreal Engine 5. If you guys are interested in learning how to create a multiplayer survival game, in this course, you will learn how to make things like a drag and drop inventory system, a complete crafting system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down any tree, rock, or bush that you see on the map. We create nine unique weapons and tools, things like a rocket launcher, pickaxe, hatchet, rifle, bow, and so much more. We create an entire building system where you can build your own bases using foundations, walls, ceilings, and you can upgrade your base from wood to then stone and then to metal. We add a raiding system where you can attack other players and raid their bases for loot. Then we create this open world map that has different biomes, procedural foliage, and each tree, rock, or bush that you see on this map can be harvested for resources. We add things like procedural AI, like this deer that you can hunt and harvest for resources. We also create these interactable structures, things like this refining forge where you can smelt iron ore. We have a crafting bench, storage box, and so much more. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you will get a big early access discount. The price of this course will be raised later on, but if you enroll now, you will get access to the entire course and all future lectures that will be added. And once you enroll in the course, you get access to the private Discord server community. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below, or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. So with that being said, hope to see you guys there. It's so really impressive just seeing the lighting in the scene, especially, you know, all the volumetric clouds and all that stuff. It's very nostalgic just seeing, you know, pretty much an eight-year-old game getting a remaster. He even added a dynamic weather system so you can see what it looks like with rain, overcast skies, and even the rain affecting the environment, making puddles on the ground, making everything look like the weather's actually affecting it. He also has some footage of playing as the dinosaurs. He took the models and animations of all the dinosaurs and set them up as playable characters. I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to set them up so you can actually make them writable. The only thing you really need to do to set that up is, well, get the saddles from the game, obviously, and then attach the character on the saddles when you run up to the dinosaur. But, but yeah, as you can see, he has all the animations and textures, and it really looks awesome. And in one of his most recent videos, he actually remade one of the caves inside of Ark on the island map, the Cave of the Hunter. So this is like an artifact cave where you can retrieve certain artifacts from the cave. So yeah, as you can see, he's holding a little torch there, walking through the interior of the cave. So he took all the rock assets, all that stuff, and remade it one-to-one, -one, even with some of the dinosaurs and creatures that you'd see inside of the cave. So now the amazing part about this is that he's using nanite and lumen enabled for everything that you see here on the screen so all of the assets the rocks even all the trees are using nanite which is something that we've yet to see especially with foliage and things like that i mean nanite is a pretty new technology so the major improvements of this is you can pretty much see as far as your render distance can go so it can go and extend the entire length of the map and optimize it automatically for you you don't have to do any weird culling tricks where you hide some of the actors super far away just show it all on the screen because nanite just automatically handles you know scaling up the detail as you move closer so yeah a lot of you guys might be wondering how did he actually accomplish this well he actually took all of the assets from the mod kit so if you haven't heard about the mod kit basically there's an unreal engine 
editor for Arc, where you can download Arc in Unreal Engine 4, and it has sort of an editor where you can create mods for the game. You can create your own custom maps and use all of the assets inside of Arc. Now, I haven't really used the program much. It's Unreal Engine 4, but a mod editor for Arc. I've used it maybe once many years ago, and, and from what I remember, it's pretty locked down, so you can't really like look into their blueprints and all their code and all that stuff. It's pretty much like you can create custom maps, items, things like that. But what Greg did here is he took all of the assets and models from that mod kit from that version of Unreal. And what I assume he did is he just right click and clicked export to export all the animations, models, textures, all that stuff. Which to me, I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. For some reason, I thought they would lock that part of their mod editor, but you know, knowing Studio Wildcard, they don't really think about that stuff. But either way, I'm still pretty impressed and honestly amazed to see all of this stuff in Unreal Engine 5. I mean, all you have to do now is take all these assets and combine it with my survival game course and you pretty much have a full remaster of Ark because we create, you know, a building system, save and load system, crafting, all of these stuff that you'd expect inside of the game. And in fact, Greg could even take all of the assets from the building system. So like the metal foundations, thatch foundations, all that stuff. And what would be crazy to see is is if he set up like a multiplayer server. But yeah, I'd definitely like to see some of the other maps created as well or remastered inside of Unreal Engine 5.1. My top picks would probably be Aberration, especially like the blue zone and green zone. Just seeing all the lighting and all that stuff remastered in Unreal Engine 5, that would be really cool to see. Maybe even recreating Scorch Earth, that's also one of my favorite maps. But maybe even a better map if they recreated Ragnarok and just use Nanite for, you know, the global optimization optimization you may even fix all the lag spikes on the map because from what i could remember on the original game there was one certain area where you'd have the entire map rendered in and no matter what computer you're on you get sort of like a frame dip where it would go into you know 15 frames so yeah maybe you even fix all the original bugs that the game had but yeah that's going to be it for this video i kind of just wanted to make a reaction video to seeing what arc one would look like remastered inside of unreal engine 5.1 definitely recommend to check out greg colt hart's channel i'll leave a link to it in the description below he's done an amazing job taking all the assets and putting them inside of Unreal Engine 5. I can only imagine how much time it takes to, you know, make sure that all the assets are placed correctly in the right spot. And then, of course, you know, exporting those models and importing it, I'm sure is actually a pretty time-consuming process. But yeah, check them out. Link in the description below if you want to see more of Arc 1 footage remastered inside of Unreal Engine 5. Also, check out my multiplayer survival game course, link in the description below if you guys want to learn how to make a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. Get the early access discount right now, link in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.